believe what is important is that uh, IT must serve the, the business purpose. So IT, you don't do IT for the, the pleasure to do IT. So IT must bring an added value to the business process. And as we are a growing company, what is critical is that uh, we fix the business process through an information system. And what was critical for us in 2004 is to decide to go on SAP and to implement SAP in different modules. So the first one was purchasing, the second one was uh, finance, and the third one was the ERP system. And now we are extending SAP across all parts of the business in terms of project management, in terms of uh, clinical study management, so it's me in HR, human resource. So it means that we will see an integrated SAP which serves the business. But uh, Daniel Lebeau, when he joined the company, was coming from the company Kraft, where he has developed SAP in Europe. And he has not yet worked at that time in a company who is doing research and development. And uh, our company is based on innovation. So it means that you have to go from a manufacturing environment to an R&D environment. And for us, innovation is key, right? So it means what was uh, critical between Daniel and myself is to find a way where, let's say, going from a manufacturing environment to an R&D environment requires more flexibility and requires to develop a system which are, let's say, less standardized. But uh, I believe the relation between Daniel and myself was very good. So it means to be able to interact with that R&D environment. If I take, for example, clinical study, we have uh, remote data entry right, mm. across the world. But if you don't agree on a glossary, how can you standardize uh, your process? It's mm. impossible. But it requires discipline, and Daniel and I were able to manage innovation and discipline together. So the relationship between the CEO and the CIO is extremely important. Um, it's important because uh, both have to uh, agree on the value of IT. IT is obviously there to provide infrastructure, but it's also there to provide more than that, for example, uh, to help the compliance or to support the growth or the globalization. IT can help to uh, improve the productivity or it can be there to uh, satisfy the customers or even to um, uh, foster innovation. So first, an agreement on the value of IT. The CEO is extremely important also um, to implement the business processes. The, the, the head of IT needs that mandate. At a certain moment, he needs to be sure that the company, the enterprise, agree that IT will help to change the business processes. Um, there is a third reason why CIO and CEO should uh, be very close. Um, uh, at a certain moment, when you are going to implement the business processes, you will have to re-engineer them in order to be sure that you use your package standard. And to re-engineer the business processes, you will need, uh, in IT, we will need a good support from our CIO. Um, the fourth reason is that it's a long journey. It's not a question of few months. It's a question of few years. It's a journey where there will be successes and failures. It's very important in the difficult time to keep that good support in, on, in order to um, have a consistent IT strategy. Uh, these are the four reasons, I think, why I suggest that you come together, uh, both the head of IT and the head of the enterprise, uh, because this is absolutely key, and uh, Jean and I will discuss that uh, in May 20 uh, with Agoria.